In this video, I'm gonna go through the my Pi Builder 2 HDA, show up some of the new improvements for this update, and this is basically the final update. I'm pretty happy with it, and I don't think there's much of a point for me to upgrade updates anymore. So, so first of all, now back are two styles. We can select two styles. So for style zero, we can select how many we want. So this is now based on for each loop. That I showed in the last video. So for each loop, it's a lot smarter idea to copy these flanges. So you can select how many you want and what's the distance between them, like that. Pipe resolution, it's very simple, and radius. So for the flanges, you can just control the first of all the bolt distance from the center, like that. And how many we have, have these bolts. Like that. For the second curve style select, it's more of a traditional pipe network. We can change the bevel amount and so for the bevels, like that. And one thing to note that for the bevel resolution, make sure it's an odd number because we are actually splitting these pipes. So basically, flanges are hiding the cuts so we can rotate them for more of a better looking texture. So it's not very visible that we are basically using the same texture so just make sure for the beveling it's an odd number that's just how the bevel tool works in Houdini and it's just easier to just make it odd number so the flanges hide the cut so we can change the bound it should follow so then we can rotate each one of these parts separately that's for the UVs residues and resolution for our pipes that's pretty basic stuff for the bolts, there's a bolt in input selector. So basically, one and zero is the default bolts that are actually modeled inside HDA. So they are modeled like in here. So it's just a default shape for you to work on. But you can obviously change it whenever you want. So first of all, zero and one. If you want both of them the same, just make sure it's, it's the same number. You can change the uniform scale for it, offset. Rotation, random rotation, also mirror them like that. Random rotation is basically if you copy the same, the same object so that it's not so obvious that we are basically the same bolts are copied over all of the, around this flange. So for the flange, input selector zero is going to be default. It's just the same shape that's also modeled in here. You can basically just rotate it, uniform scale it, and squish it. So for these detail selectors, these detail selectors are basically for the ZBrush imports. So I'm going to show that off. But first of all, let's say you have a, your own model. So for this, just put that, let's put down the box. Let's just squish it and let's connect it to the HDA. So first of all, imported flange is going to be whenever that's imported. That means it's from ZBrush node. But if you have custom, put it to custom. Now let's go here. So we put it inside custom flange, go to flange and change the input to 3. So for the bolt, it's pretty straightforward. Let's put down the box and tube like that. Let's maybe squish it a bit. Let's connect them. So called custom bolts, you enter the last two points, custom bolts 1 and 2, go in here and go the input is going to be 4 and 5. Like that. So now you can see we're copying these two shapes on our bolts. For the Gozi import, put down the Gozi node. What I have is basically just the two subtools, and these are different subtools of this. And this is two subtools. You can see, even though it consists of multiple parts, it will still work and copy these two on the one bolt. So for that, take Gozi and connect it to imported bolts, both of them. Go to the Top tool and make sure it's at the bolts, it's 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 is going to be this one. And then we can select for both of them the, the part that we want to copy, scale them, offset them, randomly rotate them. Basically, the same thing that we, can, what we did with the ones that we modeled right here. And then for the flanges, it's the same thing, you just make sure it's at the imported flanges. Go to the flange control and make sure that it's at 1 and go to detail selector 
one or two. So basically you select the sub tool with these detailed selector nodes. So one, two, since you have only two, we can select between only two of them like that. And for the UVs, it's, I did this little difference. So first of all, let's delete this one. Let's make it all to the defaults like that. So first of all, the, the actual pipe is going to be unwrapped on one UV island. So let's say we make it really long this one. You can see we are now extending this one. So it's good for tile textures. For us to unwrap these flanges and bolts, basically we have to create our own UVs. So if you use the default ones that I just showed, so these are defaults and press on make UVs. You can see it's basically going to put down UVs on the second island and you can texture it that way. But if you have a custom ones, let's now switch it to custom ones. Let's do that. Let's uncheck make UVs because for now, because we are going to make our own UVs. So for anything that we are making custom, just make your own UVs with auto UV node maybe or whatever. Just make sure you have UVs. Now let's go to the custom ones for the bolts. So now what we have done is unwrapped it on these, both, both of these are unwrapped. And in Houdini, it's going to basically automatically put it in a second UV, UV island. So this is what we can export with this one. So for these outputs, what we have is, first of all, let's take a look. For the outputs, we have only the flanges. For the last one, then only the pipe. Then we have a, just a one flange that we can export and then paint it in a substance painter or whatever whatever so this is with the final uvs or this is for the baking so this is for the rounded edge shader baking it's basically every part that you are using for the flange just flatten out that we can bake out and this is just the the end result so at the end what you can do is paint them separately export this one this one with two UV islands, then we can just merge them together back on. So, no, 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 and then we can just merge them back together with different UVs and assign textures to them separately. So that's it for this this tutorial for HDA Pipe Builder. That's it, and take care.